One of the great things of this exhibition has been that we were able to combine film excerpts and posters that relate to these films. Here I'm standing in front of the poster of October, a film made for the 10th anniversary of the uh, Bolshevik Revolution by Sergei Eisenstein. There is something absolutely fascinating about it because we have been able to put together in close proximity the poster as well as the moving picture. These two elements comment on each other uh, in a very, very lively fashion and of course stimulate much thought in us who created the exhibition but also in those who visit the exhibition. This parallelity of the printed page and the motion picture is vastly important. War is vastly important for the entire cinema phenomenon in the early Soviet Union and is still one of the liveliest dialogues which we can experience here. October by Eisenstein is of course very much involved in his ideology and his enthusiasm for the revolution but also, of course, is another exercise of his great important theory of montage. In this case, he utilizes a system of montage which we would refer to as the ideological montage, the montage of ideas, which unites the elements of the moving masses, shows the growth of the masses that eventually bring about the Great Revolution. The dynamism of this film expresses the movement of the masses, the movement of ideas, the spirit of the revolution. Uh, it is in a way different to what we know from Sieger Bertov's montage, which is largely a montage to bring about the full expression of life, the kaleidoscopic scale of daily events a synthesis of urban life, modern industrial life. The spirit of montage prevails in both, but it has a slightly different meaning. It was in 1923 that both Vertov and Eisenstein published in the same magazine, Yev, uh, published by Malkowski and Ossip Brick, their separate manifesti about montage. Eisenstein's montage of attraction, in terms of uh, Vertov, the uh, manifesto of the Kinoki. These are the pillars of the modern language in cinema, which was inaugurated by the Soviet creators of film.